was giving away twenty thousand dollars tomorrow. Twenty thousand, that's amazing. Tomorrow. How do you get how do you get in on that action? You know, I was told that there's actually still a few spots left open. Do you play? Actually, I don't even know if you play Street Fighter. I used to play Street Fighter. How like back in the arcade days, Street Fighter 2. That's how long it's been. I think you can still sign up. It might be worth a shot. You know, I, I think a lot of people here at PAX, you know, they, they, they signed up and they went to go look at, you know, Bioshock or, or get in line for some ridiculous VR experience. And they probably forgot to show up for their chance to win twenty thousand dollars, so maybe you could take your could take the spot. I should, but hey, there's a lot of people here who should be taking that spot, right? Well, yeah, I was trying to convince people. See, I'm trying to get twenty thousand dollars into your pocket, man. Because, because that's that's our job. We're here, we're here because Geico was like, the Geico was like, hey, we want to invest in the FGC. We love Street Fighter. We like E League. Let's give away it ton of cash twenty thousand dollars for the e amateur wait you wait 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 no you have to come back now no you got to come back you got to come back what is that okay. you're supposed to check the weapon there are enforcers that are supposed to check your weapons wait come back come back let me see the gun put it up to my head put it up to my head do you do you, do you play do you play street do you are you Street Fighter fans, what are you doing here? Big fan, love Street Fighter. You love Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, me too. Are you, are you from Australia? <laughs> yeah. What part? Melbourne, Sydney? No, in the middle of nowhere. Port Headlands. Port Headlands. Port Headlands. Port Headlands. Port Headlands. In the middle of nowhere. Where are we? Oh, look at us. <laughs> There's lots. There's lots of people watching at home. If you're watching at home, use hashtag EchoSFV and look up where they're from. Port Headland. Port Headland. WA, Western Australia. <laughs> what, uh, what brought you all the way to PAX? Um, just a holiday. No, you're, no. Um, um, what's it called? Oh. Samurai Punk. Samurai, is this from Samurai Punk? Everyone go upstairs and see what it. What is that? Game. Uh, American Dream. Okay. The game American Dream. Indeed. Never heard of it. Yeah. Oh, it's an indie game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I have. Now okay. I have. And I didn't get your names. I'm so rude. Hezzy. How do you spell that, Hezzy? H-A-Z-Z-Y. Hezzy. H-E-Z-Z-Z. -E -Z -Z Delilah? Delilah and Hezzy. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming all the way to Australia, uh, from Australia to PAX. Is this your first PAX? Yes. Yes. So I met, I met them on the plane and then... Samurai Punk. And so we made a special trip just to come up here. Wow. Okay. Man, you just happen to be Street Fighter fans? Oh, I love Street Fighter. Oh, well, you're, you're in for a treat because right now <laughs> we're going to do a tournament where the winner, well, the quali the, basically we're doing qualifiers today and yesterday, to, and we also did online qualifiers, and the finals are going to be tomorrow for... Where are you going to be? Disneyland. Okay, well, on your way or while you're walking around Disneyland, everybody here is going to be playing for $20,000. Oh. Have you ever played Street Fighter for more than like a quarter? Like a, like 25 I Street Fighter t-shirt that I won in in London. Okay, so you played you you know, you're you're used to high stakes. Yeah. What would it mean for somebody like you, Hezzy or Delilah, to uh, you know walk away with twenty thousand dollars because you dedicated some time to getting good. I'm not sure. From maybe one day, one day I could get there. Well, maybe next year, PAX 2018. In the meantime, have a seat right over there. Okay, we will. We will. I'm gonna be over there. I'm just trying to bring people in, but I'll be right over there, and then we'll sit and we'll watch the uh, we'll watch how it goes down together. Uh, actually, I'm, I, I don't care at all who, who wins because I don't get a dime of that gecko money. Uh, but my boy XSK Samurai, he already qualified. I'm cheering for him tomorrow. Yeah. But have a seat over there. Remember, American Dream. 
All right. <laughs> These girls aren't going to... They, they claim to be Street Fighter fans, and they don't want to watch the tournament for even a second. Okay. I see how it is. Australians. Needs them. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we're going to get started here in just a moment. This is Pool G. The top two players of each pool will qualify tomorrow to play for $20,000. Use hashtag GeikoSFV and let us know if you find... Send me a screenshot of where Port Hetlin was. I don't know. Sounds like the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I was going to toss it over. Bear. Wait. Toss it over to the commentators. It's all you guys. Well, thank you so much, Gutex. <laughs> Notice how he just totally ignored the guy who wanted to play Street Fighter 2 as soon as the two Australian girls yeah, came into the camp. Like, Gutex, well, you gotta worry about the other guy too. He just slowly walked. The guy walked might have actually wanted to play. <laughs> well, guys, have. welcome back to the E League. Amateur Series presented by Geico. We have some great matches lined up for you today, and hopefully we'll get some more fun interviews <laughs> with Gutex yeah. over at the PAX floor. We have some players up on stage here, yeah, Toga. We do. We have Monster Kakarot, who looked really, really solid during the uh, Exhibition Series that we did on Friday. He actually took on XSK Samurai, who won the previous pool, albeit using a different character. But he took that set 10-5 in very convincing fashion. Nice, so nice. And across from him, we have Lo himself. Uh, looks like he's hovering Ryu, oh. which is uh, what Samurai used in the exhibition. Just a heads up to Lo himself. Uh, he might be ready for you just a little bit. I'll tell you one thing, Toga. We have seen a few Ryu players on the big stage here, and they've all been slaughtered so far. Yeah. So here's hoping that he will break. He will break the streak. Oh, we'll and see. he's not believing in himself. This is not what I want to see. Is, he's we need the confidence. Believe. Let's go, yeah, man. There is $20,000 here on the line, and he, you know, he can believe in the heart of battle. So they can go. Yeah. They're, they're good to go here. They can start at any moment, but it's going to be the Laura versus Ryu matchup. You know, Ryu character we talked about this weekend has kind of really fallen off the meta, especially with the Season 2 changes. Uh, you know, they've tried to revert a few things back, but a lot of players have moved on. Yeah, <laughs> like Samurai has moved on to Akuma. <laughs> Oh, uh, Daigo has moved on to Gaia. Air has moved on to Overwatch. But yeah, here, we here we are at Street Fighter V. Yeah. Right. Right. The feeling out process did not take very long. Here comes the... Oh, sweet. Okay. Gets away from the lower pressure. He's thinking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. himself yeah. thinking quite a bit. Yeah, he's really falling for those over. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. He's just smashing. Roundhouse. No, no, believe in him. He's got some blocks. Okay, that's, Wait, a, that's block. a block. No, okay. Oh no. He could have punished that. Double combo. knees to the face. But Monster Kakarot is just giving him no mercy here. He says. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Low himself just give himself a little fist bump. He was like, you know what? I got two hits. All right. Okay. Monster oh, Kakarot is gonna sit here. He sit there. He said, oh, oh okay, but he got him. That, that that's that's what we call really footsies, baby. Oh, Mr. Okay. DP gets crush countered. Nothing else. Oh, oh, he's oh, he's like, that crush fierce! That new coach fierce animation added. Season two? Okay, time for some crazy. Okay. Oh. Man. Cross under, cross under, cross under, stun. And that should do it. Oh my god. Uh oh. So much damage. Laura, just the, such an aggressive character. This is this is the later version of Ryu oh, that's been wait. wandering for 30 years plus. Oh man. <laughs> it's, uh, looking a little Hey, ugh. this is what this tournament is all about. It's about, you know, players who just want to test their waters against some of these these pros who have, you know, come in and qualified First online. Yeah. And sadly, you know, uh, Lo himself has to deal with Monster Kakarot, who I yeah. believe was our Round online one. qualifier. Yes, he was. So, Fight. game two. Let's see if anything changes. Oh. All this. Look, he walked into the corner. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. Crush Monster Kakarot is ending every string with that overhead. He crossed skill. under, even though on the news of stun. Yeah, okay, right under. now, Lo himself doesn't want to oh. give him a perfect. Yes, he does. Oh, like, he walked on the same yes, side. He's that good. was actually good. And gets a sweep again. Oh, gets the Oh, jump short. He, he did it himself. Okay, Lo himself has still kept his dignity, and that's what matters here most at PAX 2017. He didn't suffer the double perfect Bro, like, like, we, like oh, we saw. We've, we've seen some double perfects. We've seen some perfects throughout this tournament, but Lo himself clearly. Look, look at his patience, man. He's not going crazy. Yeah. He's blocking. He knows the strings. Oh, he jumps to get out like, of pressure. Yeah, okay. gets out of the corner. 
Monster Cactus still chasing them down. Oh, crush counter! He delayed it too, oh, just the time. Underneath. I think oh. this is the perfect. This is gonna end no, really. Just might, uh, uh, just might have enough. Can you get the sweep? Can you get the magic sweep? Oh, oh. And that is gonna be well, it. Virtual perfect though, because that oh. was just great life. He actually dodged the perfect. <laughs> My Laura goodness. Wins. And Lo himself has kept his dignity, right. but is gonna move on to the loser side here at the Geico Amateur Series. Oh, oh my man. goodness. All right. So, so I, the weekend, you know, we, we, we've, this is, I believe, our very, this is our second last pool yes. so far. And I think the, I'm not sure who's in the last pool, but our, you know, just to do a little recap of some of the players that we've seen so far yeah. and some of the favorites. You know, we started off yesterday with Pool A with Ice on winner's side, Ranma Sama on losers. Uh, pool B was Fawaz, who showed us the power of Nakali. Yeah. You know, one of the best Seattle players for Street Fighter Four, And uh, he just, show, he dominated. He showed yeah, up. He showed up. He showed up. Played he beat both online qualifiers. He did, yes. So that's, that's something impressive for a guy who yeah. allegedly does not play this game. Yeah, that was one, one scary thing, actually. The yeah. fact that a lot of the online qualifiers had to go through it, so. Gary, you know who else showed up? Who else showed up, Gutex? Talk to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Gutex is on the crowd with the Australian girls here. And uh, we <laughs> we're going to have a second interview here. Another one. You know, he sadly didn't chase down. I mean, he got them to sit down at least. All he right. got them to sit and watch some Street Fighter V, which is good. They said they were Street Fighter fans. They yep. said they were fans. So I, I said, hey, can you watch some of the best Street Fighter you're going to see? And then they were like, ah, that's funny. I was like, we're actually Street Fighter posers. And then they walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason they came back. I can't quite figure it out. Why? Wh what, what happened? Why? <laughs> why? 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 Why come back? Um, to, yeah, we just come back to take a, take a selfie with you. Everyone See, that's... Everyone on Steam has you. Oh, you don't, you don't want to... You, you definitely don't want that. You don't want... To add people, you you don't want people to add you on Steam. Take it back. Take it back. They will. They will do it. <laughs> do you have? Okay. Here's the real question. Do you have Street Fighter Five on uh, on Steam? No. No. So then, how is anybody here gonna play with you? Street Fighter Four. Oh, okay. All right. Taking it back to the classics. All right. Okay. Street Fighter. What about you, Delilah? Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Four. Do you want people to add you on Steam, or are you more of like a Instagram, Snapchat? I'm still training. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, we, we never left. Well, okay, all right. I, I was mistaken. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Gutex, for that one. Thank you. I mean, at least he got him to come and sit down some good old Street Fighter. Yeah. Uh, but it just, Gutex can't get enough of the Australian girls. Who knows what's <laughs> going on here? But we have two players up here ready to compete for $20,000. Exactly. We've got... I, you guys have to... Forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong. We have a lot row, row versus Shaka. Looks like a Korean mirror match. Let's talk about mirror matches for a second. Bear. How do you feel about mirror matches when you're playing Street Fighter V? Mm. I mean, mirror matches are something that a lot of people have different opinions on. You know, some people, you know, are convinced that, you know, they don't prove who's necessarily better with the character, just someone who they they may Round prove one. who's better maybe in that specific Fight. matchup, but mirror matches are definitely Something that most players don't enjoy playing. I think it feels worse for the loser of the mirror match because yeah. there's a bit of pride, you know. Yeah. There's a pride in playing your character, and that's definitely is, is a little bit on the line every time you play a mirror match. Throw loops, here we go in the corner. Nice shimmy, gets the stun. Quick work from Rao so far. That Rao, just, yeah, burns the meter to make sure he finishes off the round. But man. That was pretty dominant. Yeah, we were pretty convincing. I mean, he kind of walked him forward in, in neutral using that stand forward. And yeah, that's see, that's the button we're going to be seeing a lot in this matchup. One of Karen's best tools tries to go for a shimmy there, but Shaka wasn't fighting. Shaka finds himself into the corner again. Oh, that's the jab. Yeah, and once again, Rao has him in the corner. In front. Mix up. Tick throw gets the stun again. Very quick work from Rao so far. Yeah, that's gonna close it out already. Good lord. We're seeing some blobs. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just the, mean, the, that neutral game. Yeah. I feel like Shaka is just kind of throwing out two stand forwards and then he's backing out and giving, you know, Rao just 
time to do anything. You know, yeah. Rao's been just jumping in or just moving forward and closing that gap. Because Karen, not only can she play footsie so well, once she's in, she's got the mix up, she's got the damage. Extremely car scary character to play. Yeah, oh, finds a crush counter, gets some damage. Now Shaka looking pretty okay. Look at oh, this round. That was three. House, the roundhouse war. Yes. It was looking like J1 and Punk <laughs> yeah, just, from DreamHack. Yeah, just three in a row, just trading. See who hits first. All right. This is the prize you were talking about. Her. Oh, nice hit from there into the trigger. Oh, oh this shot got looking good now. What's he got on wake up here? Okay. Oh, oh yes. Nice shimmy here. This could be some good damage. Not enough to kill, though. One more. Oh, oh it's the stun. Just... Gets to save all of his bar too. And look at that comeback. That was that was ridiculous. Well done there from Rao. Yeah. Right, now he's on match. Uh, it should be done. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh this my goodness. Back. You know what I mean? Oh man. Is is mashing that single button? I mean, yeah. it, it's a great button. <laughs> Is it is it the new key bag from, from, <laughs> from across the screen? Are we seeing some BM? Am I the better Karen? Yeah. Rao says. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Yes. Well, players looking a little kind of flustered and neutral. Yeah, until this knockdown happens, this is kind of like where the main pressure game starts. But okay, early activation of V trigger. Nice. nice. Reversal. Yes, I like that. Exactly. Stop the momentum of the wreckers. Back out. Oh. Oh, no punish. Yeah, he definitely punished that. You should know that being a Karen main. There you go. What? No confirm. Both players sitting on super, so any hit here can do it. Takes a single confirm. Oh, oh. not there. Oh, right there. Wait. Is he gonna? Nope. No. Doesn't spend it. Little bit greedy when you're down around. Okay, gets the back throw. One hit is all around. Oh. He went for a command dash. Gets red good. Other side. Oh, no. Not in. No, I don't think that chips no, enough. Not even good. close. Yeah, definitely good not. Good punish there. And Rao taking it down. Connie wins. Man. The thing that sucks about losing the mirror match is you know all the frame data, you know all of all of the stuff about your character. Yes. So yeah. losing to your own character kind of hits you a little bit harder than yeah. losing to most. No, absolutely. It's it, it's one of those things. There's a lot of people, you know, shout out to James Chan. That's the first person I could think of, of yeah. someone who absolutely hates, especially when it comes to Kami. Yeah. <laughs> there's, you know, there's a lot of people who just feel differently uh, about the mirror match. But yeah, with Karen, Karen, yeah. it's definitely like a footsie war for the exactly. most part. Shout so. out to my man, Fravisar also, who tells me we are both Nash players, some of the few that are left. Yeah. That the Nash mirror is awful. Yeah. So shout yeah. out to you, Fravisar. Up yeah. next, must eat. Br what a name! Must eat brains. <laughs> must eat brains. Yes. It's not just maybe eat brains. It's must. He's here to kill. All he right. He's here, here to, to kill. kill for 20k. Who knows what he's gonna bring out for us? I don't know what character with a name like that. What character do you think he's gonna play? Nash is a zombie. Maybe we can see Nash. <laughs> yeah, I don't true. know. You I know, seen that's, that's a really good point, actually. We have not been seeing, I think, any Nashes this tournament. I don't know if I've seen well, one. Well, we saw uh, Kyle P play Nash. That was just during exhibition, right? Oh, no, not during exhibition. Oh, that was during right. pools against yes. uh, uh, the losers qualifier against... Uh, against uh... Oh, we're throwing it oh, out. Well, what's to, happening what's, here? What's going on out there? I'll go find out. I'll go find out. Oh All my right, God, Gutex right, is right, on this. I'll go find out. Gutex is on the camera. No, I gotta know. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where? What? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Whatever you were doing. Is that bad? Was that lame? Could you give me a subject to rap about? Street Fighter. Rap about Street Fighter. Oh my God. Uh, it's actually it's actually recorded and it's gonna be on Twitch. It's on twitchtv slash Geico Live. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now he's camera shot. Hold on. hold on, look at, look at, look at. Look. I'm Redbeard from the Redbeard and Sausage Show on YouTube. I'm a nerd. I'm gonna rap about Street Fighter. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Can I get a subject? I mean, can I get a beat? Can I get a beat? Sorry, can I get a beat, guys? Okay, okay. Alright. Alright. 
Yo, I play in Street Fighter like I play in all night. Let me tell you, playing as real, I don't go down without a fight. Yo, I'm hanging at the packs like I got the ear wax. Let me tell you, brother, like you think you all that. Yo, I play in with my fighter like I'm playing 2D games. Here we go, and brother, like it's getting so insane. I'm feeling so crazy like my name is Slim Shady. Yo, hanging out with the packs, here we go, it's gonna get lazy. We having some fun. We play in Street Fighter in the sun. We play in on the switch on the go. Let me tell you, brother, like we going slow. Yo, we got with the mojo. We keeping yo the YOLO. Let me tell you, brother, like we get it with the flow. That was uh, I don't even know. I'm just weird. Sorry, I got excited. Wow. I'm in, I'm impressed. I'm I'm impressed. Oh, see, you see how he turned the tables on me? First I'm interviewing him, and now he's interviewing me. I'm I'm from LA. Where where do we people where do we are you on SoundCloud? I'm from Napa, Idaho, because I'm a nerd. What's your SoundCloud? <laughs> uh, awesome Sauce. Okay, sure, I'll get one, but, um, but I just started YouTube because I'm kind of weird. Okay, got it. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Pax West, back to you guys. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Gutex, for that one. I don't know what we just saw. But Thank that was. You. Hey, big was, awesome. That actually wasn't when, that bad. When did this tournament turn into 8 Mile? I don't so know. When, I don't know. I don't when. know. The All only right. thing we need now is someone to use Ed I, with the 8 Mile costume, yeah. and then we're good to go. I thought I was going to start hearing Mom Spaghetti, and I, that oh, was good, though. The, that the, was good. The, 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 Thank you to Gutex for getting yeah. us the good stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If he's back, we need to get him to rap about Geico. All yeah. right. But All right. looks like we got two players ready for you guys here. We have uh, Must Eat Brains, as we were talking about earlier. Oh, man. And Squinjo, uh, you know, for the guys you can't see here in the show floor, I mean, the rapper is still there. He's waiting for some more camera time. So who knows <laughs> if you guys stick around here at the amateur league really tournament. You really never know what you're going to yeah, see. Yeah, you never know. I mean, Gutex is out there looking for people on the hunt. And if you guys are here at PAX, make sure to use hashtag GeikoSF5 to let us know what you guys thought about that rap. And if you guys are here at PAX, come come talk to Gutex. Yeah, maybe you'll he's hanging around. yeah, maybe you'll be the next one to drop some bars. We'll turn this into the eight mile stream. Who knows? Oh, who knows? But anyways, on to on to some serious business now. We got a grapple fight. Yeah. We got a grapple fight. We got some big beef. Yes. And we got some bonita happening. Some bonita, that's right. I mean, Geef, a character that's really grown a lot since season two. You know, a lot of people weren't sure about him when he, the game first came out, and we're still kind of testing the waters. Yeah. But I feel like he's developed and grown so much, and he's such a big threat. Yeah. You know, we've seen Itabashi, and I mean, even Snake Eyes is really finding finding his grind with him. Yeah. Shoutouts to my man Brutus, who won the Toronto Re uh, yeah. Red Bull event this weekend with his Geef, defender right. of the Canadian skies over there. Yeah, and I believe the best the best player in Seattle is actually a Geef player as yeah, well. Yeah, Dr. Danny Pham. Yeah. All right, back to the match. Squinjo keeping Laura out relatively easily. Big SPD. Bam. And looks Oops. like Squinjo has the crowd on the side here. I hear some excitement. Oh, back. Back door, yeah, I mean, this is the scary thing. Zangief wants to get close, but Laura does as well. And Top yeah, drop. as soon as you're close to Zangief, you got to fear all of these throws. And wow. the crouch jab takes oh, around. The damage from the throws. <laughs> yeah, no. We saw like three of them. We saw at least one SPD. Yeah, and look how much bar he's already built. He's yeah. going to be able to get critical meter this round. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. He's trying to make a read or something. Yeah, oh, so this broken button. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, these traits have not been good, but here comes must be brains. He's uh, getting him close to stun. Once again, the, now the, the pressure is on. Oh, the headbutt! Just out of range, but it still hits. Oh, it jumped himself into the corner. Oh, back throw! Back throw. How oh. many back throws are we gonna see? Oh, okay, the knee. The knee. That's, 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 that's gonna be stun. stun. Yeah. Oh, please show me some muscle power. Just do it. You can just, just super. do it. You just can do just, it. Oh, what? What happened? What just happened? What? No, guys. Who who pressed start? Who pressed start? Oh, <gasps> player one. Okay, no, no. Okay, won. no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna let him. He's kill gonna him. let him have it. Oh, okay. Oh, and the chop. Chop. Him the okay. karate chop. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Was I don't know what he's doing. I think he was trying to mash. Yeah, off he's the trying stun. to mash off the stun. <laughs> I've was... done that actually a couple times. Yeah. It's, it's the the problem with playing on a pad is that the buttons and the actual options and the PlayStation button are actually like easy to accidentally hit. Yeah. So, oh man, I have... Oh, so we had, we had a button Round issue. One. I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, uh, okay. But it looks like they're playing it out here. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, look at... He's hitting these buttons from max range. I actually love the use of that stand strong. I think it, I think it will actually uh, counter hit the stand forward from Laura. Yeah. Especially because the stand forward was, uh, was beating the crouch jab from Squinto. 
Ooh. Man, there are so many throws. Right now, Musty Brains needs to realize, like, every time he's close, you know that Squinchel's wanting to normal grab or command grab, right? Go, another SPD. He's, I want to see oh. a bait out grab. Look, again, another back throw. This must be the fifth one yeah. through the set already. The one thing you don't want to do against a grappler is get thrown. Yeah. <laughs> Tech hard or jump, man. Get out of there. Oh, wow. Okay. Just, okay. Uh, that was a little, a little too uh, eager there. Trying to dash forward. It's air lariat. Oh, gets the crush counter. Yeah, good conversion. I like it. Stays in front. Front throw. One yeah. more for stun. Okay. Front throw again. Oh my god. Just trying to avoid getting thrown at this point. One hit. Well, it's going to take one more jab. Okay, oh, and another stun. Oh okay, god. show me some muscle power. How many Just stuns? do it. What? No, oh, no. Okay. It's Keeping okay. it simple. And that's going to close Keeping it. Keeping it simple. <laughs> How many throws? You know, I feel like Squinto should not even play Zangief because he just goes for regular throws more yeah. than Command. <laughs> But good stuff, though. Good stuff um, there. That was. Uh, is, this, is this the uh, the home? <laughs> is this the <laughs> hometown yeah, hero? Just, you got your whole crew over here. It looks like it looks like we have. Tell, tell, here. tell us, yeah. are you why are you here to support your boy? Why? Yeah, why? He's a man. Gutex here talking to. Uh, he knows what to say. He wins and looks. Well, wow. Hey, man. Those those are the those are the true homies. They're not, you know, I was expecting something like, oh, you know, like we train together all the time or, you know, we went to school together or something. We were together. Who takes right now? Yeah. But he, we're here to support our boy because he wins on looks. I respect that. He Congratulations. <laughs> Definitely not Street Fighter. They're, they're much better, especially him. He'll, he'll be winning the championship. <laughs> and, wait, did you enter? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> From New York. Got it. It's okay. You're still you're still in losers bracket, right? The real winners. Real. <laughs> yeah, the real win the real winners. <laughs> tag him out. Tag me in. I mean, you you said you were the champion. I it might be you know there might be some bracket issues. There's a lot of money on the line here. You see, there's twenty thousand Geico. I told them to enter. I'm just why didn't Why didn't you guys enter? I got here late. I. We get seated now. I'm pretty sure. We'll start at the bottom. Do you, hey, Kenny, are there still spots left? There's one spot left. Yo. Do you actually, no, no, no. Do you actually know how to play? Because if not, I'm going to put our Australian friends in. I want to walk around. <laughs> I want to walk around. 20000 oh, sorry, $20,000 wasn't enough? Apparently not. How much, how much would it have taken? Yeah. <laughs> 30,000. Add a pop real quick. I'll join. All right, go, go walk around. Go walk around. Your, boy, your, boy's, your boy's in loser's bracket. Man. <laughs> God. Can't tell people nothing, man. $20,000. What would it have taken? $20,000 is not enough. What would it have taken? 30000 Out of here. <laughs> My seats now. <sighs> All right. Uh, so, well, that was exciting. Back to you guys. All right. Did, uh, did Gutex just kick them off their seats? Man. Gutex, we want our spectators to stay here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, man. They, they, they asking for 30000 though. That, that's quite Hollywood to do. I'm just like, <laughs> that's like asking for, like, special water and other stuff in a dressing room that you may not even have. Like, what is going on here? Like I said, you'll never know what you're going to find out here at the Geico Gaming yes. Stage. E-League Amateur Series. If you guys want to tell Gutex something, use the hashtag GeicoSF5. We have a tweet up here. Yeah, from Silver Sanction, the team that that, uh, that takes care of Urban Flow. Urban Flow, of course, qualifying in losers from Group F. So congratulations to him. Up next, Monster Kakarot back on stage, going up against the Tater Tot. Tater Tot rocking Cami. Monster Kakarot, of course, our Atlanta qualifier. Playing Laura. That's right, we've seen his Laura just up earlier. Still on winner's side. Round one. This guy's gonna deal with this Cammy matchup. Alright. Just starting off slow, just kind of backing off and throwing fireballs. Yep. Good oh, recognition nice. on that dash. Yeah, no, I like I like the challenge of the jab actually. A lot of this stuff is not real. You just need to have the, the 
know, presence of mind to do it. Nice, great use of the V-Reverse early on. Tater Tot definitely spending her cash, getting, getting, making the most of her resources. Backing up oh, a little bit. Done. Gets the corner position. Oh, and lots of cat grot. should be able to, yeah, just closes it out right there. You know, I feel like the when Monster Cat Grod's been starting off each round, I think he's going to start off again doing the same thing by backing out and throwing some more fireballs. Yeah. Because I feel like that's been the kind of, not flustering Cater Tot, but getting her to be proactive. Yeah. Nice meeting button there, getting the crush counter and going for the cross under. The thing that I'm impressed with with Tater Tot, have you seen her defense? Yeah. She's been reading these cross unders very, very well so far. Yeah, not, the a huge, 50 yeah right? not a huge fan of that V-Trigger activation, though. Would have loved to see it used for, you know, you know, to either freeze time or to, to hit confirm something, but... Okay. Oh, that was good. And Monster Kakara, yeah, it's just going to be able to close it out. Good We're stuff here. Yeah, we are seeing some great things from Tater Tot so far. On the oh, defensive end, wait. we just need to see her establish a little more offense and yeah. get into Laura's face. She's identifying all of that fake offense, like you said earlier. Yeah. So, uh, just looking at the matchup, studying, oh, downloading. Yeah, I can't get flustered by those, those fireballs, especially. Like, uh, you know, right now, you know, Monster the Kakarot wants, you to, wants her to do something right now. Yeah. You know, she, he's kind of waiting. And see, just like that. Okay. Right. Just to get the back, I like, yeah, I like the use of the forward throw. But puts herself back in the corner. Oh, the back throw would have been good there. Oh, nice, I like that. She's pushing the pace again. Yes, there you go. I love the use of that beat skill to kind of get a little bit closer to the corner. Although, okay. Get a little slow. Wants a cat draw. Yeah, this is what Laura does best. Oh, gets the hit. Yeah, no conversion on that. Another recognition Ooh. on that dash in. Oh, but no go forward to confirm the trigger. And then, okay. Oh, that was beautifully done. Yeah. Oh, tries to beast it through it. I like it. Oh, and the stand short to close it out. Yeah, yeah I like the use of the V, uh, v skill. Yeah. A little bit there from Tater Tot. Kind of get it. Good presence of mind. There you go. Yeah, see that more? Because that is safe on the block. Gets to continue pressure after that. Oh, oh. Well, just probably autopiloted there, not waiting for the mm, confirm. Nice. I like that V reversal. Yeah, Monster Kakarot, though, taking it much slower than he usually did in previous matches. The crush counter activates. Here comes some big damage. Nice Ooh, reset. Oh, the reset. Oh, okay. But he missed it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if he was looking for a jump back of some sort. Oh, I like that. But I would have liked to see a back throw. Okay. I think that was a missed dive kick. Yeah, look at this. Right now, he thought it's chasing down a little bit too much. It's quite risky, but it didn't work out. All okay, the way here to comes the corner. Pressure. Oh, the cross up. Oh, nice. Gets a throw again. Nice. Tick throw there. This is a B skill. Just have meter to work with. Yeah. She's got the extra cannon can drill. She's got... She's got the super on deck, potentially. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Looking for some kind of confirm. Ooh, oh, I think she went for that, it on the fireball. Was, she just missed it. That was it. a super buffer. That was definitely a buffer. Yeah. But we saw some impressive things from her. Yeah, She's still in losers. There's, there's still a chance. She had to go up against the, the qualifying player, I believe, who was Mount Wansa Kakura, yeah, right? Yeah, so that, that's... Still, that was some impressive stuff. She was checking the dash ins almost yeah, every time. Yeah. So, so it was just, yeah, that was kind of, kind of sad because I think I think she played very very well. Yeah. She had to run into. She just happened to run player. into a monster, yeah. a literal monster. Yeah. All right. So you guys can use the.